Hi friends, welcome to CodeShama and in this video we are going to take a look at how to configure Python virtual environment in Windows 10. So let's get started. I'm going to open my command prompt and from here we are going to make a folder. So let's navigate to our desktop and let's make a new directory. So for this example, let's say virtual env example all right all right so the directory has been made you can see it at the left there all right so now let's navigate to that all right now to create a virtual environment you can do so with pip command but virtual env command is not directly available to you let's check for it pip show and then virtual env so as you can see, we have virtual env version 20 in our system, but it doesn't come directly. So pip uninstall virtual env. All right, it's going to take a while. And it's going to ask us whether we want to remove it or not. So let's say yes. All right now, let's access the same command pip show virtual env. And now the package is not found. So by default, this is the state you are presented with when you install Python. So after this, we just need to type pip install and then virtual env to install virtual env package first. All right, and there we go. So we have virtual env package installed in our system. Now we're going to access this command to create a virtual environment in our folder virtually env underscore example so let's do that since we are already in our virtually env example folder we can simply type virtual env and then the name of the virtual environment and please note that it can be anything i can type env there i can type venv or i can type well let's say you're working on a flask app so you can type flask as well or maybe django or even cj for code channel. So let's try CJ and let's see what it did. So I'm going to open my virtual example folder and it has created a folder CJ. Let's open it and it has created this library folder and script folder. So in library folder, we have all the packages that are by default installed with Python. Now, if you want to install further packages, you can do so with pip install, but after you activate that environment. Otherwise, you're going to be downloading and installing them globally. If you want to download and install a package inside this virtual environment, then you need to activate this virtual environment. All right, so let's do that. So that's CJ and then slash. And after that, scripts and press tab to complete that. Slash again and then activate. Press tab to, you know, complete that again. When you tap enter, you will see a little small parenthesis with the words of your virtual environment. In my case, it was CJ. In your case, it could be something else that you chose when creating virtual environment. Most of the time we create ENV or VENV. So it will appear at this corner. After this, you can be sure that virtual environment is active. So you can install any library inside it via pip install and then let's say flask so there we go and when you open this and libraries side packages now you have flask in it as well so this is how you create and activate virtual environment in windows 10 and if you face any issues regarding this video or any other python related issue make sure to leave a comment down below please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to code channel Thank you very much. Now let's just deactivate this environment. To do that, just type deactivate. And there we go. The CJ parenthesis is gone. Now you can simply exit out of this command shell. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.